Ah, nice bit of time. Um, that's right. This is what happens in either post game. Well, this part does exactly, but it is always one year later. Um, now, any ones that had to do with any businesses, you would have to have had to actually start those before you got to the post game. If you hadn't, you can't actually get, you can't continue with them. Or, well, you can't start them now. That means the newspaper, if you didn't start before you got to the end of the game, you can't start it. Uh, the mine, same thing. Of course, if you, you can't do anything that does, with, that does with businesses, you can't do. But now that we're back here, um, post game, there's a lot of stuff we can do. We can finish up any side quest that we want to do. Um, also, uh, due to core story circumstances, um, let's see the read left. Um, so pretty much the main thing about post game is to pretty much follow, pretty much follow the trail to Connie. Of course, if you play before, you know exactly where she is, but it's a lot more fun just to actually, you know, talk to the people around here. Um, we'll be going, I'll be showing the little journey that we go through. And as I said, the, uh, first we're going to go to Happy, Happy Garland. Um, it's afternoon. We actually need it nighttime. But before we do that, we're going to go into here. Oh, before we do that, though. Uh, yeah, we need to turn around because uh, I was looking for Marjoram and I was thinking that the food place was a little further along than it actually was. As you can see, Marjoram's here. Welcome. Um, I pretty much. Yes, uh, she's <laughs> charged with cheese and. Huh, okay. And, of course, we get to the station hotel. We'll talk to Phil there. But before we do that, we need it to be nighttime. Yeah, let's do that now. Uh, because, I mean, we can talk to Phil anytime. So we're just going to make it nighttime, and we're going to get that plate. Um, I hope you remember that woman's name. I did. But that's because I have a guide with me, and if I wasn't, I would have just written it down anyway. And there she is right here. Yes, I do, Misty. All right. Uh, sure. What? Yeah. Uh, at least a kiss or something? I mean, damn, it's been a year. I mean, what kind of... That's, that's, that's the ultimate chip right there. I mean, your number maybe? No? Now, we can go and talk about how the craziness of Dandelion is, and the reason why Savory did it was for the D. Uh, you know, Dandelion, right? Um, but before that, we're going to talk to Phil for a bit. You know, his... We'll get that out of the way, because this, this is the next point to the fighting Connie thing. Um, this will clear up something. This will clear up a little bit about what happened during the uh, beginning of this. So we'll ask about the missile. Now, we know that Danny's line was a fighter missile, but it was Fennel's shot. Yes, it was the same day. Yeah, he kind of said that. Ah. And there's the final piece. He borrowed the trap bill to fire upon us. So yeah. Um, so pretty much the reason why the line did all this was because of what happened to Chicory. Of course, why was it trap bills? I don't know. Due to the fact that he was hit by a car. I mean, I don't know why he hates trap bills for that reason. Means me, I guess evolution. I mean, it does make sense why he attacked Happy Garland. Of course, it didn't make sense why he wanted to take everywhere else. I guess, yeah, we... 
I guess San insanity doesn't really have much reason, or at least much room for it, at least. But now we're going on further on to uh, do a couple other things. Um, we're going back to uh, Danny Lion's workshop and to pick up a couple items. Uh, seems his apprentice is still here. Oh. Huh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, again, your son. I mean, I'm oh, sorry, why I say son? I mean, your brother killed in front of you like that. God, it makes you a little off the edge. I'm surprised he hid it. I'm surprised he hid it for so long. Uh, we'll be going there. Oh, yeah, we'll yeah we'll be going to the observation cliff. Um, it's located right where we gather the wood for the uh, civilian army. It's right near there. And that's right. Now we have entrance to the well, Trotmobile Garage, which means that you know if you climbed up here before, the door will be locked, and there have been you have been felt kind of uh, annoyed. But now we can open it, and now we can climb down into the garage below. Don't ask me how this trauma bill got back here, but hey, uh, we're not going to ask questions, right? And now, we have the Excalibur. Uh, of course, I'll be switching out my melee weapon with that, and we also get the spike. Now, why can't we just take all the parts? I don't know. I don't know why it won't let me take it. everything. It's not like, uh, you know, Dandelion's gonna use it. But, we definitely got the most important one, so that's all we really care about. So we're gonna take ourselves from here and get ourselves to our next location. Um, the reason why I kind of didn't want to actually say anything through the ending credits, because that's like the only time this song is actually sung all the way through. And of course, if you notice during the credits, that uh, Connie was wearing the hat that you gave her. She will only wear that if you give it to her as a present. So, do that. So, now we're back here, Ritika. Uh, we're going to talk to Rosemary. Maybe she knows where Connie went to. Oh, that's right. She's asleep. It's nighttime. Okay, we're going to talk to her in the morning, then. And as I said, um, there was... You pre- I mean, if you've been watching this, you know how I feel about the music. Uh, definitely about a certain person singing. But the songs themselves, as I said, the songs themselves are- the, the songs themselves are okay, it's just the lyrics are terrible. And when certain people sing, they're even worse. Um, and I guess some more money to stocks. Oh. Oh. Here's a bowl. Okay, I guess now that we have a terrible stomach, uh, I guess we can actually use these uh, herbs that we bought. Let's see, where are they? Alright, and now we're just starving. So then now we're just gonna fill it with food. And we're good. Oh, yeah, so. Let's get three of those. Yeah, okay. Yeah, good five. Get some of that. And we're good. Now, let's go ahead and talk to Rosemary. Um, the controls are pretty good for the most part. I wish there was more parts that you can actually get for your chop mobiles. Of course, this is from somebody who played a lot of Armor Core, so I'm used to having like an overwhelming number of parts to deal with when it comes to a, a mech. Um, unfortunately, we won't be getting a sequel to this game because of uh, you know events. 
unfortunate. I would have liked a sequel to this game, it would have been fine. Uh, graphically, yeah, it's kind of eh, but I let it slide due to the fact that, hey, you know, we got a lot of voice dialogue, a lot of uh, dialogue trees and everything. So that's good. So, we're going to go to Vision Ranch. Maybe kind of here. Now, before we actually go to Dr. Nutmegs, I want to show off something. Let's see, where is it? There it is. As you can see, they are flying around. So yeah, we don't keep the flying parts either in post game. So that kind of sucks. But, eh. So we're gonna take ourselves see if Dr. Nutmeg knows where Connie is. Ah, uh, of course, still starving. Always hungry. And also, um, of course, another thing you can't do in post game is uh, go on a date with Savory. Because, you know, story reasons. Uh, I think you. Well, no, you can. You, I, yeah, okay, whatever. Oh, Basil? Okay, so she's headed to Nefferberg. Okay. Alright, well that's easy enough to do. Nefferberg's not too far from here. You see the Wright brothers are having their good old time. Okay, what's happening? Wait, what? Ch Hold on, challenge? Did his garage just stand up? Yeah, the mech lab is a giant truck mobile. Sure, why not? Um, as I said, this one battle automatically happens if you have to not make in post game. Um, it's very slow, but it does hit a little hard, and of course he has a lot of hit points. See, he's kind of hard, but since he's kind of, kind of slow and he's a very big target, he's very susceptible to machine gun fire. You may even say he's weak to it. Yeah, I got a little hold there. As you can see, I'm wearing the spike parts as well as the uh, Excalibur. And the make lab just goes right back to where it was sitting before, I guess. A um, little random for a make for a Tri-Mobile battle, but hey. So, now we're back in Nefferberg, and we're going to take our bike. And of course, I'm gonna stop here. Let's uh, check on in on someone. Oh, Basil, what are you doing here? I was actually looking for Ginger, but she's dead. But she's dead. You saw her get shot. So, uh, why were you spying on the elephants? Huh. <laughs> uh. Well, guess that would make a little bit of sense. So, uh, where's Connie? Alright, I uh, guess we're going to meet someone else. I guess we're going to meet Miss Echinacea. Real quick. Why, hello! Uh, hello, Miss Echinacea. Still putting your frying pan into my stirrup. That's nice. Yeah, everyone except Connie. And Dandelion and Savory. Yeah, uh, you know, since they're kind of dead. But other than that, yeah, I've met, uh, I've met them. And now we actually have the whereabouts of where she's going. Back to Seagull Beach. One more time.
Strangely enough, you can't collect herbs here. Yeah. Now, at this point, you have to choose this final option if you ever want to fight Connie. This is the only time you're ever going to get to fight her. And if you want to get all the plaques, all plates, uh, you have to fight her because you need her for a plate that you have to get for battling everyone. And she's, of course, one of the people that you have to fight. So, um, her next season is the uh, original model Earl Grey that you had at the beginning of the game. With all armaments and everything. With the, you know, that one good arm and that one really terrible arm. And she has low health, but she has a tendency of, since she can't really do much melee damage, she likes to come in and kill you. Which still hurts a lot. So. Best, best way of doing this, of course, is to get a good range with her. Because as you can see, getting into melee with her, she's always going to throw you. And you know how devastating throws can be, definitely if you're a fast man like this. Trying to get her so I can actually hit her. She was just fast enough. Up. Got me again. This is really no way to see where she is. Okay, can I can I be? Did she stuck? Not anymore. Can't let her get too close. See, she's only getting nicked by a couple of them. Okay, okay, now we're in the danger zone. Yeah, I knew she was gonna run up on me. And she picks me up again. Okay, yeah, this is getting critical. Yeah, this is getting really critical. Don't worry, guys, I actually win this one. Just uh, I did this on purpose to keep everybody out of the edge of their seats, you know. Just for suspense. It's totally not the fact that she kept on that she was at the outmaneuvering me and able to actually you know, put me in some of a juggle. Not at all. And pretty much I just go Mario on her. Now, if you notice, I'm still ranked D. That's because I haven't actually done the tournament, and I probably and I won't be doing that until, of course, post post game when I finish off the uh, villain's tale. Well, villain path. Um. I guess they're bathing in the afterglow. Alright, and once you do this, Connie will uh, join you, and she'll just hang around in your travel wheel. So, now we're back at Observational, um, observational Cliff. Uh, now it's raining, perpetually. And we're going to go over here and, well, see Dandelion, Savory, and Chicory. That Grazer plays here. I love how the uh, game kind of takes a shit on what you're saying to him. Yeah. 
And now we pretty much get the full, full story of it. Yes, which caused Dandelion to hate Tramobiles for some reason. Sure, why not? Really can't save it to the morning after anyway. <laughs> uh, I just love it when he does that. And of course there's a monument here, but I don't know what it does. I don't know if you can do anything for it. I'll maybe check in on that, see if there's actually anything you can do with that. But to my knowledge right now, you can't do anything to it. So, that's pretty much the end of the post-game content I'm actually going to show. And, uh, well. Next time, The Villain's Tale. See you then.